Okay, so recently I got a couple, a few more machines um, after the uh, Centuria. So I uh, thought I'd show them off. Uh, just a few days after I got the Centria, I got this uh, Kirby Ultimate G Diamond Edition from one of my uncles. Uh, my dad's side of the family. You know, like distant family. And uh, he just dropped this off one day. It came with a shampooer and that uh, set of attachments over there. For those of you who don't know, I already have an Ultimate G Diamond Edition. It's just not in great shape. Um, I swapped out the motor on that one and put it in that Kirby G4, which will be going back to a customer within the next uh, couple of weeks. Because uh, the switch box on that G4 went bad. It also needs a cord, a drive switch, and a bracket cam. So it needs quite a bit. Maybe that'll make for a Jax Vax and Safety vacuum restoration video. Who knows? Yeah, this is another Ultimate G. Um, it needs a belt. That's really all it needs. It's rather dirt. It's dirty, but vacuums get dirty, especially ones this old. This one made. Looks like it was made in June of 2002, so a little over 20 years old. 22 years old this month. It does work, but the belt is like extremely stretched. So I'll give it a quick run just to show you that it does turn on. I won't actually put it down on the carpet. It does work. So yeah, it does work. just needs a belt and a wipe down. Thankfully that's all it needs because I really don't want to tear apart one of these at the moment. So that's all it needs and I think I'll just wipe it down and change the belt and leave it at that. Then it's this uh, Shark Navigator MV22. One of my friends had this just sitting in his basement apparently he replaced it a while ago with one of the newer rotator liftaways the uh nv500 series and uh it's quite it's quite beat up but that's to be expected because sharks usually have a soft and relatively brittle plastic as you can see both of the cord hooks broke off in the spot uh they're supposed to be in this cord hook is just kind of bolted to the uh, retainer for the lower hose. And it looks like it's gotten some kind of water on it, but it does work. <clears throat> of course. Bullshit. 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 But whatever floats the boat. Yeah. Cyclone block appears to have never been cleaned before, but it is there. The exhaust filter could definitely use a wash or a replacement. It does have its dusting brush and crevice tool, and I do have a navigator lift away turbo brush over there. You can see it. 
And I think I have an uh, under, like, a low reach tool somewhere around here. I don't remember where it is exactly, but I know I have one. We tested it at his house. It does work. All I did really since then was empty it. It was set in my car for a while, so there's probably a bit of plastic that's like warped or something on it because it's been a cozy uh, 90 something degrees the past few days here in the States, specifically Nebraska. Which, you know, to be expected for summer. But my sharks, this shark sat in my car for about a week, so who knows? But it does run. <laughs> Brush roll suddenly stopped working, so that's not good. It did work when I tried it out at uh, his place. <laughs> I'm gonna try something. Alright, I tried to do essentially a factory reset of the electrical stuff by turning it all the way on, connecting a wire to the end of the prongs, and hoping that would just drain out all the power. So we'll see if that actually worked. <laughs> That did not work. So I'm going to have to do some diagnostics, figure out if it's a power head or not. I don't know. But, yep, that's the uh, Shark Navigator that my friend Owen gave to me. I just, suddenly the brush roll motor quit for some reason. So yeah. It's been a while since I've seen one of these uh, baseline navigators, so might might be a little bit easier than the newer models because I think these old models had uh, Phillips head screws holding them all together, so it will likely be less tedious than on newer models because the newer models have those like security Torx. It's Well, and last but not least, this Eureka the Boss Power Plus. <sighs> so, this was a trash find literally last night. I picked it up last night when I was hanging out with my friend Lewis. We were just walking around his neighborhood after a nice trip to the mall, and we saw this sitting right across the street from a Big box of speakers that Lewis decided to pick up. And uh, it was used without a bag. It was full of pet hair. It was used without a bag. Both of the filters were immensely fi filthy. Thankfully, Lewis had a shot vac I could borrow to clean it out. And it smelled terrible. It just smelled like dog. I'm going to find a Eureka type AA bag that I might have to put in it, so. Alright, I got one in. I took out both of the filters because they're, they could probably use a washing. And uh, just a headphones warning, this thing sounds absolutely horrendous and is extremely loud. So, just brace yourselves for this.
Yep. I don't know if that's from dirt in the fan or if the bearings are just totally shot, but it sounds terrible. When I first turned it on at Lewis's house, it blew dust everywhere. That was even after I cleaned it out with the shot back. So yeah, definitely a project. I don't know if it's going to be fixable or anything, but I'll try my damnedest. Yeah, typical Eureka Victory fashion, it sounds like it's going to explode. That's just how these victory machines typically are. If they don't sound like they're going to explode, then they haven't been used whatsoever. Uh, it does come with one attachment, which is this Bissell extension wand for some reason. And for some reason it's got a Eureka type U-belt pack just wrapped around the hose. There's not even a belt in there, so. I do applaud them for using the correct belts, though, so. Even though they could just, you know, read this sticker right here. But yeah, typical Eureka Victory fashion, it sounds fucking terrible. I'm just working to undo this pack of U-belts from the hose. Because I don't need to know that these take Eureka type U belts, because I wouldn't be a vacuum technician if I needed that. But yeah, sounds terrible. This thing is going to be absolutely fun, because if you know, I have a Eureka Whirlwind bag list back there that. Sounds not really any better than this. Although I did modify the motor so I can put new bearings on it. So I will eventually put new bearings on that one. And hopefully I'll get it to run smoothly. But yeah. Typical Eureka Victory fashion, it sounds fucking terrible. That's what happens when you use something without a bag, too. Not to mention a machine that was kind of poorly designed. But yeah, those are the new vacuum acquisitions. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.